In today's video guys I will be walking you through the best in-game settings, how to optimize your launch for the best delay and better ping and of course how to fix FPS drops and status in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1. Feel free to use the timestamps down below in the description for certain settings you might need specifically. Ok so in the first place we will cover the basic steps for the Epic Games launcher. So open your Epic Games, click on library and look for Fortnite. Click on these three dots and click on options. From here you can see all the Fortnite installation options. I will basically tell you to install the stuff you don't need and the stuff you might need. For the people that use DirectX 12 and people that play Saver won't leave this checked on. After that I recommend everyone to have high resolution textures off. This setting won't make a big difference in your eyes beside the fact that you can see that it has a size of 15GB. And for the pre-download stream access option I recommend to have this checked. If this option is turned off you will have a decreased performance in your internet performance and FPS because it downloads every skin, pickaxe, glider, whatever while loading in the game. But leaving this option checked will have you already store the skins meaning you won't have to load all of these items and you will have a better the performance and don't forget to click on apply to apply the changes once you have done that we will click again on these three dots and you can see here manage click on it and then scroll down and go to launch option and add this code i will leave this down in the description after doing that click on verify this will search for any corrupted data and files After that I want you guys to look up game mode and then make sure that this setting is turned on. Ok now click on graphics and then click on change default graphics. Make sure hard accessible the chip GPU scheduling is turned on. You might have to reset your PC after doing that. But just make sure you come back to this video and follow the next steps. Now we will make sure that Fortnite is put on the highest performance. To do that you need to go back and click on browse. Go into your Fortnite folder and then click on Fortnite game, binaries, win46 and then select Fortnite launcher. Click on add. Now to make sure Fortnite is running on its highest performance, click on option. This will probably will be selected as let windows aside. Change that to highest performance. Ok this step is only for the Nvidia GPU users only, I can't really help you AMD users out. So you guys can skip this step. Ok so I want you guys to go into your Nvidia control panel then go to manage 3D settings. After that just copy my settings down here. Trust me these settings help me the best out in like almost all the chapters, all the seasons. This is the best settings I can like vouch for. Ok after that go to change resolution, some of you guys bought your monitor and can't seem to get the full potential out of your refresh rate. As you guys can see with me, I have 120Hz but my monitor supports 240 as well. So if you have the same issue as me do this, instead of going by 9020x1080p native go down where it says PC. Click on 920 by 1080p and click on the refresh rate. As you can see now I do have the option for 240Hz. So I hope I at least help some of you guys out who had this issue. I know some of you guys like brighter or more powerful colors. You can change the setting here but I don't like it that much so I'm just keep it at default settings. Don't forget to click on apply as well or else you gotta copy the old settings back. Ok now I want you guys to click on windows R and type percent temp percent and go to local look for the phone again folder and click on save config windows client. This step is important because we will change our phone settings to the best performance available. Deleting this file will make your graphic settings reset. This won't remove your previous key mod or anything I think. Don't take my word for it but yeah just do what I do. Ok for the people that did this step make sure you delete the game user settings in the recycle bin as well but in my case I don't want to remove it since I already did this off the video. Ok now for the next step open your files folder and go to your uh, local C drive. And then click on uh, program files look for your epic games folder and then go to fortnite then click on fortnite game. And then binaries, Windows 64. And then easy anti cheat camo. Then click on the blue bear thing logo. And then click after that on the repair service.
after doing that go back and then right click on the phone and client it should be right there okay and then go to properties okay after doing that go to compatibility and make sure the disable full screen op optimization is turned on and click on change high dpi settings click on override high dpi scaling behavior and click on apply do this for all the fortnite clients and fortnite launchers Okay, now we will go and check if our drivers are up to date. To do that, go to your GeForce experience, go to driver and click on check for updates. As you can see, my driver is up to date and ready to go. Okay, the next step is to look at performance. Usually it will be checked on let Windows choose what's best for my PC. I personally recommend clicking on performance, then click on custom, then make sure these two settings are checked. After that make sure you click on apply. Click on Windows R again and look up percent data temp percent data. Select everything and delete all these random junk files. They are not important, they are just bloating your PC for no reason. If this notification is being shown, just click on skip. After that, do this again, but this time do it without the percent icon. So just type temp. And do the same as we did before on other file and just delete everything. Just make sure you delete everything in your recycle bin. Okay, now for the last step, we need to open up our Fortnite. Make sure your rendering mode is put on to DirectX 11 for this to work. There are some hidden settings you can only access here. I don't know why, but yeah. After that, just copy my settings. Three D resolution is a personal choice. I just like to keep mine on eighty five. Again, another setting for NVIDIA users. This is a very important one. Make sure your NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency is turned on plus boost. After doing all of that, change your performance back to performance mode. Yeah. 